Welcome to part three of the 2023 National Weather Service Milwaukee Sullivan Storm Spotter Training Sessions. For this session, we're going to talk about thunderstorms and some of the basics when it comes to what we're looking for when it comes to storms and what you need to get storms and all the different things that come together to produce different types of storms. So the first thing to know is that there's three main ingredients when it comes to creating a thunderstorm. You need lift, you need instability, and you need moisture. So lift is the form of typically like a cold front or a warm front or a low pressure system, something that gets motion starting to go upwards when it comes to storms or any precipitation. So with high pressure, those are typically sinking motions that help to suppress any kind of precipitation or keep it very close to the ground. So uh, we need something to get those motions going up. That's the lift. Instability is a measure of how fast uh, a parcel of air is moving upwards within a cloud. So the more unstable or the more instability that there is, the faster that that can, uh, that chunk of air can rise up through a thunderstorm. Moisture is just a measure of how much moisture there is within the thunderstorm. So the more moisture there is, the more thunderstorms you can make and the more rain you can make and things like that. So for us, a good moisture source is the western portion of the Gulf of Mexico. If we get winds coming out of the low level winds coming out of the south, directly out of the western Gulf, that provides us with a lot of uh, very moist air into southern Wisconsin. So those are the three things we're trying to we're trying to gauge each of these when we're putting together a thunderstorm forecast and how widespread or how strong each of these three are uh, to try to determine how widespread a severe 